in this short video, we're going to be looking at some snail play. So I think snail is a lot more complex than it initially seems when you're first starting the game. And I attribute a lot of that to being to being because it requires a lot, a lot of teamwork. And there's a lot of like nuances to positioning and decision making that I think is not really uh, appreciated until you really um, face a couple of like really good fights uh, around the snail. In this video, we're going to be focusing on the blue side. And more specifically, we're going to look at how a couple of bad positioning mistakes or a couple of bad decisions uh, cost the team a lot of snail position. So one important thing to say about snail is that time efficiency and snail progress is super, super important. It's really important to be efficient and and like one or two small mistakes can cost a lot of time and snail progress and it can erase a lot of the progress that you had to fight for to get. So uh, when you're running snail, like, you know, every little bit counts. Uh, it's not like uh, berries where, you know, the berries can never go out. You can lose snail progress and losing position around the snail can really cost your team a lot and just erase a lot of the work that you did before. So uh, let's dive into it. We're starting off with gold having control of the snail and uh, there is an even fight uh, happening over the snail. So as the snail riders, generally what you should be thinking about is um, where your warriors have position over you, whether they can save you from a sack, and also by them saving you from a sack, what does that mean that they give up? So right now what I would see is as the snail rider, you're kind of told a lot of the time to you know jump off the snail, be eaten by the snail so that your warrior can save you and then it allows you to move the snail um, uh, quicker. But here, if you sacrifice to the snail, what that means is that your warrior has to come off the ceiling which allows their warrior to get position over the snail which makes it easier for them to hold, um, hold uh, the snail if their drone gets position. So right now by gold, um, by the gold drone eating this uh, drone, what it means is that these warriors have to leave the high position in order to save their drone. And it also preserves your warrior's position if you are gold. So this decision to eat by the gold drone is uh, good because it allows them to uh, keep their warriors high position. So a little bit of a fight happens over here. Um, the gold queen comes in to clear out the warrior, which is um, probably the right decision here. Uh, we get a kill on that warrior over here and we're about to clear out the warriors over the snail. So at this point uh, for blue, this is a pretty good situation. Um, there is no more warrior that can, uh, that can contest the snail progress. So now we're gonna see some snail progress for blue. Now for this next sequence, what really we should focus on is the coordination between the blue warrior and the blue snail rider. And it'll show how the lack of coordination can really cost your team. So right now the blue warrior is taking this top position in order to hold out any of the warriors coming from this side. Because if this warrior or any warrior uh, comes in from this side, generally the speed warrior can take this position and then make it a really difficult path for the enemy warrior to come through this way. So they're gonna take this position so that warriors cannot uh, come in from this side and uh, pop the snail. So the first big positional mistake that uh, Blue Warrior makes is that, in my opinion, I don't think that they, they probably haven't played with their drone that much. And because of that, they don't really know what their drone's decision making is going to be. So as the warrior, you kind of have to trust that your drone is going to make the right decisions for whether or not to eat um, at any given time. And the right decision for this drone 
would be to eat this drone so that this warrior doesn't have to come off the ceiling. But what we're going to see is uh, because this warrior doesn't know what or doesn't trust their drone enough to know that the drone is going to eat this drone, they're going to come off the ceiling and let the other warriors in. Right. So this mistake from this warrior allows these warriors to get position, um, the upper position over the snail. And then now they've created a much more difficult fight. If before they had kept this position and then this uh, drone has eaten this drone, now all they have to do is wait here. Now this warrior has to make a play to be able to come on the inside. But because this warrior makes a positioning mistake, um, they're going to lose the snail progress because they've lost position over the snail. So we're going to see that now. Now these warriors have collapsed over the fortressing area and blue is forced to retreat. And then now uh, gold has uh, control of the snail once again. So the result of all this is now this singular blue warrior has to have a much more difficult fight around the snail. And we're going to see that in a second. So now they've lost all the snail progress that was gained from clearing both of these warriors out uh, like maybe 10 seconds ago. And then now uh, the blue warrior was cleared out. So when I look at this sequence, what I would say is that one bad positioning um, mistake from the blue warrior made it so that they had to engage in a fight in which they were on a much more defensive position versus engaging in a fight in which the gold warriors would have to make the plays in order to come clear the snail. So we're just going to uh, play out a little bit more of this and see what is lost um, by the time uh, blue is able to get back up uh, by the time that blue warrior is able to get back up. So, um, and the only reason we're doing this is to illustrate exactly what's lost by, you know, one singular bad positioning mistake. So the blue warrior is going to get up now. And I think this sequence really shows why snail is so difficult. Your decision making has to be really, really crisp and you have to really be efficient and the lack of efficiency or lack of good decision making can cost your team um, a whole lot of progress and it changes the state of the map drastically. So if you remember what had happened at the beginning, uh, let's fast, let's rewind to where the sequence started, which is right around here. So this is where the sequence started. The snail is uh, right around this berry patch. In order to get any of the snail progress that um, Blue was able to get before, they had to kill two very good warriors, right? One kill here, and then one kill here. And their reward for killing those two warriors was to get the snail just to about here. So maybe like a singular snail length. Now, if this positioning mistake didn't happen, I would contest that the, the snail rider would have gotten to about here. But because of this positioning mistake, obviously we saw what happened in a second, which is uh, the snail progress was lost. The warrior had died right here, which means that the snail progress was lost. And also two of the top berries had gone in. And right now you're back to square one, uh, even further back from square one because um, it's no longer speed warrior, it's a vanilla warrior. The main takeaway from this sequence that I really wanted to get across was two things. One is as a snail guard or as a snail rider, you have to be very, very coordinated with your teammate. And the lack of coordination is extremely, extremely costly. And that's why snail is so difficult. And the second point was as a warrior and also as the snail rider, understand proper positioning over the snail in order to keep other warriors out and what your job is at any given moment, whether it's to keep the warriors out, whether it's to pop the snail, and as a snail rider, whether it's to eat or be eaten. Um, as always, uh, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, if there's anything I missed or anything that you disagree with, please let me know. Um, and yeah.